First tonight at 10, plans to relocate a registered sex offender into a local neighborhood are prompting concerns about the notification process it itself. John Fulmy was convicted of possessing child pornography in 2004 and of fourth-degree sexual assault of a child in 2006. After serving six years in prison, the now 50-year-old is out on supervision and moving into a new neighborhood. The 19's Andy Choi has more. Andy. Eric, corrections officials say Fulmy is set to live with a relative at 18 Newberry Circle on Madison's west side, just blocks from a neighborhood park. Residents there are also concerned the high volume of children would prompt Fulmy to reoffend. There's usually a lot of kids out playing. It's always been a safe area for the kids. Carol Lindsay says the family-friendly environment is the reason why she and her two children moved to this West Madison neighborhood nine years ago. It's why she's scratching her head about the notification she received about John Fulney moving into the area. It would be hard to find a place to put someone where there were more kids around them. So it's very concerned that we have someone with that kind of past in this area. Even more concerning for Lindsay are Fulney's exclusion zones. On the flyer, exclusion zones include daycare, schools, Elver Park, but not Waltham Park just blocks away. News 3 has learned from the Department of Corrections that all nearby parks, including Waltham, are included in Fulmy's exclusion zones. He has three separate offenses. Residents at Fulmy's notification meeting learn he'll have weekly visits with agents in addition to his lifetime GPS monitoring. All those types of things are taken into consideration when making a determination, and uh, that determination. Uh, again, is made with knowledge of what type of restrictions we are going to have on Mr. Flomey. I understand the not in my backyard, and I'm sure everyone feels the same way, but it's kind of like setting up camp in a playground. DOC officials say initially they plan to notify residents through flyers, but after calls about the release, Madison police determined a meeting would be best for this one. So I guess the question is, did everybody learn about the, this offender the same way here? Not exactly, Eric. While DOC ultimately determines where the offender will live, local police make notification decisions. Now, some residents pointed out certain people received flyers from Madison officers, others from their kids who got them from officers while walking from school. And around Waltham Park, some residents didn't receive any notice at all. DOC points out with every offender, notification methods are different depending on the severity of the offense. All right, News 3's Andy Choi reporting. Andy, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.